when I was diagnosed with breast cancer, I was 31 years old. And I actually didn't know that young women could get breast cancer. Um, so I went to my gynecologist for a routine well woman check. Um, and in that checkup, they performed a breast exam where they found the lump. Um, the very, that very day, actually, they were so great in their follow-up. Um, they got me an appointment for a mammogram two days later. Um, I went to the breast center um, for the mammogram, not really sure what to expect. Um, and they did the mammogram. And at that point, they determined that um, they couldn't tell if it was cancerous or not. So um, they wanted to do additional testing. So um, at that same place, um, they sent me for an ultrasound. And then after the ultrasound, um, they felt they needed to perform a biopsy. So I actually had a biopsy that very same day. Um, at that point, you know, they told me that um, I would wait uh, for about two days until the pathology was performed. Um, and then they would let me know whether or not I had breast cancer. And so they called me um, two days later and let me know that um, I could make an appointment to see a doctor or they could give me the information over the phone. And I opted to um, have them have the doctor call me because I knew at that point if they wanted to see me in the office that it was cancer. Um, so the physician called me a little while later and he explained that it was cancerous. Um, he told me that it was a grade one tumor and that it was hormone positive um, and I would need to get an appointment with a surgeon um, to discuss my options. Um, so I actually called my gynecologist back and they were fantastic. Um, they got me an appointment that day with a surgeon um, and so actually that afternoon my mother and I went to a surgeon's office and we discussed our options. Um, since I was young and um, breast cancer is not, I thought, wasn't all that common among young women. Um, we determined that I needed genetic testing to see if I um, carried uh, the BRCA1 or the BRCA2 gene. So they set up my appointments for that. Um, and then we decided that we would wait on that testing result to determine if I would have a lumpectomy or a double mastectomy. Um, luckily, I didn't carry those two particular genes, so I was able to have a lumpectomy um, and had that procedure uh, about three weeks after I found out I had cancer. Um, they also at that point did a sentinel node biopsy, which means that they took a sample of my, actually removed my sentinel node and tested it also for cancer. And they determined then that I had breast cancer in that sentinel node. So that determined that I would also need chemotherapy. Um, so I had a portacath inserted about um, four weeks later and began chemotherapy um, two days after that. Um, I had um, four weeks of one type of chemotherapy and then 12 weeks of a different type of chemotherapy. Um, and I finished that in about six months later. It took about six months during the whole process. Um, and then I had radiation after that. Um, thought that I was doing great. Um, actually, you know, lived four fantastic years and then unfortunately found out that my breast cancer had returned um, in my bones and my liver. So I'm currently undergoing treatment for metastatic breast cancer at the moment. Um, every experience is different, um, but that has been my experience with breast cancer.